As a motorcycle rider, the main function of your headlight is to help you see and to help people see you. But if you're building a custom bike, then it's just as important for it to look good. So if you've been looking for a low profile, minimalistic headlight, then I have something that you'll wanna see. Hey, my name's Ryan. Welcome to my garage. This is the headlight we'll be talking about today. If you're a subscriber, then it's old news, but this is designed by SO9 Engineering, and I'm proud to offer it as a product that you can now purchase over on choicecitymoto.com. In this video, we'll be talking about the assembly and how to install it. Everything's really simple and straightforward, so we'll get to that here in a sec. Over the last six months, I've had a lot of help to get to this point, just design changes to make it easier to manufacture and a more universal product. I have partnered with Max Inc. Moto. They've been making motorcycle parts for the last 10 years and their main products are headlights and headlight brackets. So it was a perfect fit. If you wanna check out maxincmoto.com, they have some really, really cool products. I'm just excited to be partnered with them and looking forward to the future and hopefully offer more products as well. So let's talk about some of the features of this headlight. If you're somebody who wants just something simple and minimalistic, something that lets you fit the headlight as close in to the forks as you can get it, then this is gonna be a setup for you. We've got three different finishes, black, polished, and then black with the contrast cuts. They've each got matching headlight brackets. So the brackets are a new design, design those so that you can fit a turn signal in the bracket. And then the bracket has a clamp that's two pieces so that you don't have to disassemble the bike to put the headlight on. We have a large range of diameters that these clamps will fit, um, 32 millimeters on up to like 59 millimeters. So definitely a lot more universal now than they were when I designed it for the CB500F. And the headlight that we have in there is a 6,000 Kelvin color temperature light. So it'll give you a nice bright white light. And I guess if your bike is more than five years old and doesn't already have an LED headlight, uh, I can almost guarantee that these are gonna be better for you. Um, I think we all know that for the same wattage, LED headlights just put out more light. So it really is a big improvement in, in being able to see and then have people see you as well. They also have the daytime running light that goes across the center, and that can either be white or amber, depending on how you wire it. Guess that pretty much covers the features, and now we can look at how to put one together. Okay, so I'll show you how to put one of these headlights together. Do a kind of a quick little unboxing style video. I uh, see the, the logo there. And let's see here, as we open this up, you can see that it comes with all the tools that you need. This is basically what you will get when you order one of these. We're gonna be opening polished one. First thing we need to do is take these screws out. All right, Let's set that aside. Okay, so one of the things that you guys will notice is these tabs on the back side are now bolted on and that's a change from the original design just makes it easier to manufacture there's less less waste and so first thing we want to do is just make sure that these screws are tight so we can put those on now just uh, take off the the backing Make 
should be good. So now you can see why we tighten these screws first. These foam strips cover, cover them up a little bit. All right, now with that done, set that aside, we can open up, open up a headlight. So you can see these two cutouts in this back ring. We want to line those up with this little keying feature. It just keeps the headlight straight in there. Um, so just like that. And then we can put this thing on. And that's that. So if you were following along with this and going to install it on your own bike, you would be done with the uh, workbench assembly. Uh, for this next part, I think it's gonna be easier for you to see what I'm doing here. So I'll just do it. Uh, when you order these, you'll have to select the proper diameter for your fork tubes. These are 40 to 41 millimeters, which is what we need for the CB500F. Each one of these bags comes with a clamp, um, one for the right side, one for the left side. Um, so that just helps keep things straight. And some of the fork tubes, you might actually need a different diameter for the top and the bottom. So these are two piece, two piece clamps and they have a the screw there to tighten them up to the fork and then the screw in the front. So obviously we want the access to the screw on the top side and then access to this screw on the outside. Put that one right there. And so this one's the opposite where the access to the screw is on the opposite side. All right, open up this other one. Just now noticing the Max Inc. logo on the back of the headlight. That's it. This is what you do for the assembly. I think now we can take it over to the bike and look at actually installing it on there and then talk about the wiring. So let's talk about wiring for a sec. The headlight comes with an H4 connector, which should be plug and play on most bikes. For the daytime running light, the white and the yellow wires, you can just plug those into power because they're grounded through the H4 connector. So you can either have that daytime running light be uh, white or amber. And I decided to go with amber. I just personally like that one the best, but think you should be good either way. Um, one thing to mention is you will need to pick up some female spade connectors for the wiring on that. Uh, so if you don't have any, 
pick some up. I am going to take some pictures for the thumbnail real quick. And while I'm doing that, feel free to check out one of these other videos from the channel if you want to follow along with the build. Definitely go check out Max Inc. Moto, see what else they have to offer, and check out Choice City Moto if you want to pick up one of these headlights for yourself. We'll see you in the next one.